Hello guys, so welcome to another episode of the Gamers Radio And uh, today is a very special day Why? Well, because we're gonna do a general review of Scarlet Blade Where as you can see, um, I am transformed into some kind of monster over here And this monster can sh have a few abilities like maybe shooting machine guns Higher DPS compared to my character So when your female character is transformed into a monster You can actually do uh, much higher damage, much overpowered skill uh, And you will have different sets of skill uh, Than when you are not transformed So there's a time limit As you can see in the middle There's this uh, middle skill bar When the, um, the skill bar is used finished You will be transformed back into a human um, character again or you can choose to be transformed back by pressing on the Z button so you can sit down and then you can heal like most MMORPG oh you can see the butt right it's painted okay and my pet robot Roy asked me why I don't consider wearing a pants if you summon this uh, pet robot over here um, sometimes you make very funny comments like why don't you wear pants and all these things I need to feed this pet like energy drinks Sometimes you can put a chip inside your pet to get uh, your pet to help you pick up things automatically and a pet can also help to boost uh, certain things like maybe your SP, your mana in this case for me so uh, I choose this character um, as the pistol guy who shoots the two pistols so it's quite uh, normal I would say compared to our MMORPG because it has all the elements of all the old ideas from the old MMORPG all combined together and uh, you can you can uh, uh, see for yourself that it you in order to move you can sometimes uh, click and press uh, WASD you can have auto run with R you, you can add friends social you can join in guild you have the big map and your quest lock which is on the um, right hand side you can uh, click on the quest slot and you will go uh, straight to the uh, monster to kill yourself so uh, when I reached this level around level 22 I didn't add as much uh, skill point as I want to so one advice for players when you play Scarlet Blades is that you don't add skill points into normal damage first this is one of the advice I have heard so far so most players will have to reskill if they put the skill points into the normal attack because the uh, normal attack don't do shit for them so what I suggest is maybe you save some of the skill point like white, but there's a problem with saving skill point. You'll have very low damage. Like for myself, I cannot maximize my character's CP because I am saving my skill points so that I can add all these uh, skill points in the future to uh, to higher skills when I can max out all the high level skills. So right now the max level is around 29. I mean around 22. And all I say is that is uh, it doesn't have a lot of one v one situation for me. You will have a lot of war on war situation. Uh, every odd hour or so, you'll see that there will be a prompt alert to tell you to go into the war, and you have to face around like forty versus forty people. And usually, the good side has less people than the bad than the dark side. I don't know why, because uh, many people like to choose the dark side. For some reason that they like red color, they like red and black color. So they choose the dark side, which looks and the good side. The good side always looks like crap, looks like white and yellow shit like that. So most people will choose the dark side. You can see I'm transformed again into this monster. I can get a critical hit. So uh, it's time to run away um, because these monsters are sometimes very aggressive. If you are inside, some uh, the monsters will uh, get up on you and you might die. So sitting down is a good way to heal your HP and heal your mana SP and also heal your uh, the middle bar no what's it called there's some kind of name for the middle bar so uh, you can um, run around like any other MMORPGs basically it has the same idea same map it has all path like all the Facebook MMORPG if you play Facebook MMORPG you know that Facebook is the easiest MMORPG because the Facebook MMORPG they play by themselves but you just watch them and you just have a click you don't need to control your character so it's something like 
this, but this you actually because it's not a Facebook MMORP. Um, but it has one of the features of the Facebook MMORPG where you can auto path. Or the old ideas auto path. The skill bar is like the runes of magic. You know, runes of magic. Uh, I I arrange my skill bar so that skill bar fit in the middle. I can see them uh, when the timer will run out, and uh, it's, and uh, they have um, designed the skill bar and the funny skill bars or as same like how I would place them in the runes of magic. And and they have uh, the chat box. Yes, the chat box has basically the the same idea as any old MPG. So even the you go into the war war situation is like their own um shinya the, the ideas of many players versus many players and you like have situation as you go with people there's no open PvP perhaps our faction can come and evade and try and kill you and things like that so you won't have a one v one situation very often oh, cause, oh shit I die so this is not good. And if you die, you can go back to the place very easily. I think around level 26, then you'll lose XP. But before level 26, you won't lose the XP. So I'll just um, rest a bit to heal my HP. After I heal HP, I think I have to get onto a mount. And I can click on the monsters and get straight to the location itself very fast. And uh, this game is rated as matured. So most children who want to play this game need to hide their age in order to play this game and some children when they play this game they'll see a lot of boobies and butt uh, painted butts and pussies running around the game which is quite exciting for uh, a youngster a teen so for me I have seen a lot of butt and uh, pussy okay in this game of course not in real life but they're boobies and I choose the one smallest one it's, it's not like I like my character as the a child character, I like the mature big butts and big pussy. But this will get me. But because it's too small, I don't see the butts and pussy when I scroll out. So it's uh, okay to breathe because I don't see too much. Uh, Other characters maybe will, will provoke some guys who has never butts and pussy ball. Maybe they uh, get their homos very high when they see a lot of boobies banging on each other. So there's one bad thing about this character. Um, it looks like a uh, very young school girl you know except the different design because he has the smaller boobs and things like that so um this game doesn't have a male character and there's no male character inside this game at all other than npcs uh, you basically don't get a chance to control a male character and all you can do is you control a female character uh, and i think that's because this game has matured because um only what you will get to be and pussies and butts, painted butts, I guess. So uh, you can see this guy beside me is up here with the whip. And Punisher can use a whip. So for me, I'm the mm, little girl with the two pistols. And to put two pistols without the pants. So I need to do this quest and uh, kill these monsters over here. Basically, the same thing. I don't even read the plot. I just ran straight through. Within six hours, I can get to level 18 if I don't read the quest. Cross his hand and let's kill it as fast as I can. But as I level up to 20, I'll have uh, difficulty uh, killing the monsters with my low defense. Need to partner with people in order to kill level 20 monsters. And if you go to instance, uh, you partner this one if you want. Um, because final boss will have a lot tons of HP, and uh, you won't have enough uh, DPS to boss if to help you. And some of my character, I didn't add all the skill points. I add my skill bar PP and uh, much damage because I didn't maximize my uh, skill points. I think when I reach max level 20, I have new pay level uh, increase to level 40. So uh, my advice to new players who come to Scala Blaze is that you know add skill points into basic attack because most players who add skill points into basic attack they to risk it once the thing is uh, completed. So. As you can see, the game is uh, um, a lot pawn like game. If there's a lot of pawn, you can uh, uh, play and see a lot of boobies all day. But the gameplay wise, I would say for maybe a fresh player who never played MMORPG, this is a good start because it has all the um, all MMORPGs out there all combined together. You can go to Massive War, 
you can interact with a lot of people. You know, those simple requests. Um, for me, I I never read the quest plot because I want to level up as fast as I can. So when I do that, there's a few repetitive quests that will show up. Basically, either you queue boss, have to queue like maybe certain numbers of monsters to get items or to be a person um, from captivity, free a friend, free a piece, and uh, you have to war maybe queue and. Sometimes there's a quest where it tells you to win at war. So you want to choose um, that you choose the evil fraction because for me I made a mistake. I choose a good side because I want to uh, trust in this game, and not many people like the good. So everyone was choosing the evil side because they look evil. Evil side, red fraction where the white side, um, the good side has a white and yellow color combination, which is not so attractive because the dark side is uh, more design as a uh, more unique these attractive lines than the so uh, when you go to war you realize that the dark side always has twice numbers of people at two good sides so the win and when you go to war you maybe collect certain items and these items and you can um you bought <coughs> um excuse me okay so I can use bomb um thing is in my uh, bar can use bomb so uh I think that from the skill from one to eight, this uh, MMO, my goodness, it has all the characteristic of uh, the old MMO RPG game. For me, it's maybe one ten. I would rate it five ten because there's nothing quite unique other than uh, graphic designs, which is a uh, focus on your audience. A lot of butts, boobies. But you don't see a lot of this. And anyway, I do cosplay. I don't do role for my sex preference, sexual preference. I don't do role play. So, um, it is not my kind. I rather, I mean, have the real thing than see artificial boobies all day, butts and boobies and butts all day. So, uh, what can I say? Um, it's a uh, very average um, on item level wise is quite average when you uh, level up certain items the, uh, not much difference compared to other MMORPGs it has a lot of old school uh, MMORPG um, elements it has old school MMORPG elements um, except um, will include the new things like maybe instead of um, dex or strength they will give you physical attack or chakra attack as they call it things, different thing and uh this is around this uh level much challenge really not much um <coughs> neatness of this instance that i've been through so far basically you kill uh, the monsters based on the quest in the instance when you reach a final boss you'll be the hardest boss you because other boss have around like maybe fifteen thousand hp and you have only like 800 hp so uh, you will need a friend to help you especially for characters like mine i haven't had um a lot of skill points and then uh, this will result in uh, low screen edit and I will have a uh, very low at power. The pistols I can level very fast. In the beginning, I like it a lot because I can kill things fast, but as I level high, I find my damage is really low. I don't kill things as fast as I can. And my weapons um, allows me to kill things fast. I saw so for level onward, it suggests maybe players can try to upgrade a weapon to plus 7. Or plus it's not luck, but so when you get into um, level 20, uh, you can uh, kill things faster. So the controls uh, just the same move like WST. You can auto run R, you can pick things with E, I think. Uh, base, uh, transfer press D, defense, I think you need to grab X when you have the item. You can summon your pedal. It's like it's like BGs. A uh, very good one. Never played any RPG before. I suggest you try this game. Up. It's very good. But you know, every stream is five thousand. Just like a lot of MMOs, it, it consists of the old elements of the animal RPGs. So that's why we have five out of ten. But most years, when you did um seven or eight out of ten, to play before. But I just you have a massive player versus player, but you, but you don't get a one v one situation at all. So uh. This is it, this is the end of the video! I hope you like 
today, review of the play. If you like this channel, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Yeah.